Good morning students. Today we are going to do experiments based on matter occupies space and matter has mass. You have already done that there are three types of matter, solid, liquid and gas. So based on this, we will be starting our experiments today. I have a balance with me, which is a 5 kg balance. And I am taking an empty glass. It weighs approximately 100 grams. To this empty glass, I now add water. On adding water, you can clearly see that the value of the balance changes from 100 grams to approximately around 200 grams. That means the quantity of water which is there inside this glass weighs around 100 grams. Now let me try and add a few beads to it and let's see the change. You can clearly see that the pointer of the balance is moving now. So now if we see, the balance is now weighing approximately around 250 grams, clearly showing us that the weight of these beads is 50 grams. So this experiment clearly shows that matter, that means the beads are occupying space, water is occupying space and both beads, water as well as the glass, they have some mass which we just measured. So this glass weighs 100 grams. Water weighs 100 grams and beads weigh 50 grams. And in total, the three of them weigh 250 grams. So this experiment was to illustrate that matter has mass and occupies space. Let's move on to another experiment in which we are taking an empty glass. And we will see that what happens when we pour water in it. You can clearly see that the water is filled to the brim. Now what happens if I add more water to it? Can I add more water? Oh, we see that whatever is the excess water, it actually flows out. Clearly showing that this particular glass has some capacity. We cannot add more water to it than the one which it can hold. So this experiment illustrates that water occupies space and it has some definite volume. And it is taking the shape of this particular glass. Before this, we had done an experiment wherein water was actually taking up the space of this particular glass and was taking the shape of this glass. So, this experiment is showing that water occupies space. That means matter occupies space. Now, let's take another example for gases. This is an empty bottle which is actually not empty because it is having air inside it. Now let us see if we can inflate this balloon, if you put this balloon inside this and if we try and inflate it. Can we inflate this balloon? Let's try and do that. Well, you can clearly see I'm trying to inflate it, but it's not getting inflated. Now what is the reason? Why are we not able to inflate this balloon? On the other hand, if I try and inflate a balloon in the open. It easily gets inflated. Now what is the difference between this balloon and this balloon? The reason is that this balloon is getting inflated in the open where it has lots and lots of space. However, this balloon, we are trying to inflate it in an area which already is packed with some amount of air. We can only inflate it to the quantity, amount of space which is available in this particular bottle. But this particular bottle is actually filled with air. So we cannot inflate this balloon inside this bottle. So this clearly shows that gases occupy space. Now let us demonstrate that gases occupy space and have mass. So I have taken this hanger because I don't have any balance at home. So just in order to show you that how we can actually identify the difference between a deflated and an inflated balloon. So this is a deflated balloon, a balloon which is not, does not have air 
and that is an inflated balloon which has air. So you can clearly see the difference between the two that the one which is inflated is moving down and the one which is deflated is actually up. So though it's not a proper balance but you can at least understand the difference that the one which is weighing more is actually bent and the one which is weighing less is not bent. So this particular experiment clearly shows us that gases also occupy space and they have mass. So I hope children you all have understood whatever experiments we did today and you will take down all notes. Thank you so much.